five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, see that? It's a ramble. See that? It's Alex and we're here until midnight Eastern Daylight Time from the East Coast of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, I got my cup of coffee and I got my Stephen Pearl. Hello, hello Stephen. Hello. How are you? To tell the truth. To tell the truth, whether old or in youth, because you must tell the truth every day. And if you don't tell the truth, you suck. To tell the truth, to tell I'm a Bud Collier bow tie guy. Yeah. <laughs> I always liked that song, and I thought it needed words, so I just added words to the old "To Tell the Truth" song. My wife Ronnie was on "To Tell the Truth." Oh, really? Yes. They uh, she knew uh, the person who was one of the producers of the show. And she played a fake nude dancer from El o Calcutta. Oh. <laughs> was that the original to tell the truth with Bud Collier? Or was I think this was Bud Collier, if I'm not mistaken. You know, or, or could it have been the second? Who did the second version? Bert Convy, he did a, he had a hand No, it wasn't Bert Convy. I think it was... Uh, uh, Larry Light, I don't know. Yeah. Was. Excuse me, and my eyes are still tearing today, oh, folks. <laughs> That makes a strong oh, stomach. God, I've got allergies up the yin yang. Anyway, uh, hey. so uh, oh, what, what, what show? Which show did was it to tell the truth that David Feldman's father produced? Did he? I have no idea. He I produced one. Of, he worked for Goodson Todman, and he really? did. It, well, oh, oh, he he did Family Feud. He oh, pro okay. he produced Family Feud. Uh, and I'm trying Here's to. The God, er, er, he, he, <laughs> I bet you can't sing the Family Feud theme song. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's impossible. It's not a... I mean, to tell the truth, it was... Just, uh, tell the truth. To tell the truth. Yeah. yeah. It's a cheer. Yeah. I used to have a lot of those, by the way, uh, here. I, in fact, I, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's an album they put out of all the jingles from the oh my game God. shows. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, all the TV shows. Yeah, all the game shows. Yep. And of course, the most famous one, I guess, is The Price is Right. That's the one everybody remembers. Uh -huh. I remember yeah. that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you're in uh, you're in Nevada. Yes. You're in Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Las Vegas. You walk in. Yeah. The, 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 yeah, the only way you come out of Las Vegas alive is by stepping into the propeller before the you propeller go to Nevada. Yeah. Yeah. The money. Are there other. Las Vegas jokes beside that one, or is that the only Las Vegas joke? I went. They played. They went to the Hard Rock Cafe to play the Jimi Hendrix slot machine. I got two. I got two Stratocasters and an ambulance. I lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh, so um, you uh, you were looking forward to getting back to work, right? Yeah, yeah. And I already two weeks ago I had a gig. It was it was it was like one of those driving comedy gigs. Except for people hunking on the punchlines, it was a lot of fun. I think I, I, when you told me that, I thought that that was wonderful. I thought I, I, it was great. People had a good time and some good comics up there. We had a really good time, so I like to do more of those. So you you could you could it, was it harder to base your timing because comedians base their timing a lot on what they're hearing from the audience, sure. right? <laughs> Did you have to alter your sense of timing? On that? I had. I felt like I was in a dolly painting, you know, just like instead of getting laughs, getting like headlights shown, blinked at you, and honk, honk, honk. So you know, and some of them, you know, are a little overzealous and they honk on the punchlines or right before them. So oh, oh, I you just got to make do. Okay, thank you. But they, they were cool. And where, know, where did they put? Where did they place you? Did they place you in front of the screen or up on top of the snack bar? There was, uh, it was it was it was like a driving thing, but it, it was no it wasn't a theater. It was I don't know what it was. It was like some kind of oh I see. And, uh, okay, so it was like a big warehouse or something. So we were against a big warehouse. Oh I see. Okay, so it wasn't really a drive-in theater that you were oh. doing it in, but it was a drive-in comedy show where yeah. it was like in a parking lot somewhere. Yeah, it's a little you know tonight's uh, adult features on Golden Shower and It's a Wonderful Life will not be seen tonight. <laughs> Henry Fondle and Catherine Rugburn. Yeah, yeah. So, 
the, the, the jokes and we had a good time. Ha, 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 I lose it. I lose it. Uh, 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 it was a lot of that. But, uh, so do you have, do you, now, you know, comedians are always looking for material from their surroundings, right? Yeah. You know, that's why so many, that's why so many comedians, for instance, are uh, always um, uh, telling jokes about airplanes because they're on airplanes so much. On airplanes all the time. Right. Do you have any coronavirus jokes? Uh, let's see. I got a, well. I got some of the riot jokes. Do you have any coronavirus jokes? I think. I, oh yeah, I did a thing. Uh, what kind of virus is this? It makes. What is that? It makes it hard to breathe. We better get all the toilet paper we can. Hey, there's another virus out. And they give you a bad headache. We better buy all the socks we can. Yeah, what's wrong? <laughs> And uh, they say, you know, look, Liz, there's no toilet paper. You got to make do. You know, use an ice cream scooper. You don't have to go that bad. Use a melon ball scooper. You know, you got to use it. You can't. You know, the store's out of syrup for your pancakes. You got any NyQuil? You know, you can make do. So I'm a guy with this. Now, you said you had riot jokes? We had some riot. Yeah, we had the protesters and some riot here. Now, how do you do that and be in good taste? Oh, well, you just go like, uh, hey, if you loot the 99 cent store, does that count as a misdemeanor? I don't know. So, uh, you know. And the 99 cent store was looted and burned to the ground today. Over $42 worth of damage. Manager swears we will rebuild. <laughs> <laughs> you got to stay topical, kid, if you want to work. Yeah. You're an yeah. old man like me. Yeah. So, um, um, uh, so, so I guess, but now you have nowhere to say those jokes. Nowhere to, nowhere to go. Just here in a couple of seconds. And once the uh, COVID is over with and you go back to work, yeah. The jokes will not be relevant any longer. Well, they will for a little while, but uh, not for a long time. You know, we'll go back to, back to what we were what doing. I, what I was always talking about is in it, it, people always say, why do they always come out with such sick jokes during times of tragedy? Uh-huh. You know, That's I mean, wow. it wasn't two days after the Kennedy assassination that there was a joke about it, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, uh, the day of the assassination, Lenny Bruce went on stage and went, whoa, Vaughn Meter, man. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> People don't remember that Vaughn Meter did an impression of Kennedy and had a hit album called The First Family. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> uh, produced by an old friend of mine, Earl Dowd, and, uh, and written by him. Uh, and, he, and it's probably gold, still to this day stands as the biggest selling comedy album of all time. Yeah. But Vaughn Meter made his entire career on being Kennedy. And when he got <laughs> shot, goodbye. That's it, yeah, see you later. It, and so Lenny Bruce was on stage that night with a Vaughn so. Meter joke? Yeah, he over the wow, Vaughn Meter, man. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, what was it? Uh, 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 was it was it Lenny that said it? That time plus, uh, tragedy plus time equals comedy? I don't know who's, yeah. That's a great and, and that I've often said that people like you have uh, managed to cut that amount of time down. Yes. You know, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, but... Uh, you know, the question is, yes, bad taste. Bad taste is uh, is uh, inevitable. Yep, if they uh, can make it funny, sure, yeah. Exactly. It's so, hard. hard, kids. Yeah, so the question is, w w how, how long, number one, should you wait? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and secondly, if you're going to wait, um, how how severe can the jokes be? For instance, yeah. I was uh, really um, kind of like, uh, you know, a, a good example that I had was I didn't find anything funny about AIDS. Mm -hmm. Okay. What happened was is I suddenly, and I remember, you, you probably remember me doing it. I, I, I put an edict out to all the comics. Oh, yeah. No AIDS jokes. There's no, no AIDS jokes because I just saw somebody on TV dying of AIDS and there's nothing yeah. funny about AIDS. Uh, and you really can't joke about it because it's not funny. Yeah. Uh, and um, th then somebody came along, and they had a joke about AIDS. And I said, that one you can tell. Okay. <laughs> now, that's, that's... folks, you're saying, what kind of joke about AIDS could you tell? Uh, and the jo Because the thing I found terrible about the AIDS jokes is most of them were gay jokes. Mm -hmm. You know? So you were making fun of it because gays were getting it, not because, you know. So uh, he said, here's the joke. And I thought it was hilarious. He said, what's the worst thing about getting AIDS? I don't know that one. Having to tell your parents you're Haitian. <laughs> okay, I can see that. That one, yeah. that one's in the past. 
That one gets a pass. Yeah. I, and, and, and what was it? Well, it was, the only thing it did was put down Haitians, and that's fine with me. Eh, who cares? You know. <laughs> they ain't going to hear it. But, uh, uh, you know, I mean, uh, do you ever censor yourself? Oh, yeah, but I don't really think of stuff that's I mean, that sick that it would piss so many people off. I mean, Sorry, you I see know. something like the Black Lives Matter thing, and you yeah. probably have come up with some jokes in your mind that you've probably said, I'm not going to tell that. Yeah, probably a couple, but uh, yeah, no, I really haven't uh, thought of joking around that line. So I, I find it's uh, it's pretty crazy what's going on out there. So uh, no, I haven't had any jokes about that. Would you? It, does it kill you that that we are living in the kind of times where your ability to create material is huge? There's so much stuff happening. I mean, it must be hell to be a political comic right now and have no place to do your comedy. I know, I know. I mean, it would suck because there's so much going on in that, you know, that subject every day. Yeah. You know, something's always something being said or happening. I mean, the like only, only thing good about the coronavirus is it's kept the uh, political comics at bay. They don't yeah. have an outlet. <laughs> yep. And the political comics would probably be the ones going after Trump. So Trump's actually yep. getting a pass. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. I don't know, political comics, you know, if you take either side, you're like risking on getting your ass kicked or getting booed by half the room. Yeah. It's really I mean, delicate these days, like, you know, in the Nixon days with Vietnam and everything. Yeah. But, uh, you know, but uh, I, I'm not that political, really, these days. You know, I'm from the old left, which not is not to be confused with the new left, who I don't get what they're up to at all. So. Well, they're, the trouble with the new left is they're too politically correct. Yeah, okay. no sense of humor. No well, sense of humor. Yeah, well, yeah, they don't have a sense of humor. They go to a comedy show and they go, oh, that's in bad taste. Well, wait a minute. He's a comedian. He's on yeah. stage. He's supposed no. to be in bad taste. That's I, his job. I know. I'd rather, I find lately right-wingers laugh a lot more than super left-wingers. I can't say that oh. I've really, in doing this show, ever cared about political correctness. You know. No, I'm from the old, I, you know, I marched against the Vietnam War and against the draft and against, you know, Nixon, and they're all gone, and we got our way, and I really don't have anything to protest anymore. So good luck, right? Yeah, I mean, you would have stuff to yeah. protest today. I would be out there with the Black Lives Matter yeah, people you know, protesting I I if, I, if I were younger. But at yeah. my age, number one, I don't want to get into crowds that aren't wearing masks. Uh -huh. And yeah. even if they are wearing masks, I don't want to be in that close proximity to them. So my life is at stake, okay? Yeah. Secondly, I said years ago when I was out marching and so on, I said, this is a job for young people. Exactly. You know, because they've got the stamina, the energy, and so on to do it. I said, but it is not uh -huh. the job of an older person. They yep. should stay home, let us do it. I hope they yep. did it when they were younger. I did it a lot when I was younger. So I don't feel guilty about not going out there now. I see I them. Either. See I the, can't march for miles anyway like I used to be. I to. see these kids today marching down through our neighborhood, Black Lives Matter, yeah. you know, all of that, and wishing that I could go down there and be with them. But I yeah. can't. I don't have the stamina to walk a couple of blocks in one of those yeah. marches. And <laughs> I, I, I and I and I don't want to get infected. If they get infected, well they, exactly. they yeah. you know They're mighty, they're young, they're strong. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm sitting here with a pollen what seems to be a pollen problem because of the burning eyes and the nose dripping yeah. and the no, I don't have a cough. I don't have a temperature, so it's not the COVID. But I mean, uh, a, just a, 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 a you know pollen situation completely knocks me out. Uh, you yeah. know, so I mean, uh, uh, I imagine me trying to march. Yeah. You know, so I figure it's not my job; it's their job. Yeah. I did, I did my work. job. I did I my job. Anymore. I can't tell you how many times I marched against the war in Vietnam. Yeah. Yeah, and like for gay work. rights and all kinds of things, you yeah. know. And um, uh, now I figure it's their turn. Okay. Yeah, my legs are shot, Booby. It's your turn. You march. Exactly. I'll wave. I'll wave as you go by. But yeah. Uh, yeah. I got a bad back. I can't march. Okay. Too much. Screw my back. you. You know. But I mean, that's uh, that, that, that's as it should be. I mean, it, yep. it, 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 but. Also, I I hope that here's what here's what I mentioned yesterday to to Kravitz. I was saying, that I live in a predominantly black neighborhood, so the people I'm going to see in this neighborhood, maybe three quarters of them are black, uh -huh. and I noticed how many black people weren't wearing masks, uh -huh. 
And then I thought about, you better not not wear a mask and have a Black Lives Matter t-shirt on. <laughs> because by your action of not wearing the mask, you may be killing another black person killing in your, your family. Killing your brothers and sisters, man. Don't yeah, do that. Yeah, so if Black yeah, Lives I'm Matter, not. it not only applies to cops with a chokehold, yeah. it also <laughs> applies to you not wearing a mask and spreading right. your disease to your grandmother. Mr. and Mrs. Maskless Liberal, you put your mask on. But look at me, I'm, I'm Louis Armstrong. Uh, uh, anyway. Hey, listen, guess what? We've, oh, no, we're done already. We've done already. Want to do another one next week? Okay, so, well, uh, yeah, next week is good. I can't do two weeks from now, but I can do next oh, week. Okay, well, you're not going to do next week. You're going to do it in about five minutes from right now. Because oh, yeah, do, yeah. That's what let's try that break. again. You want to be here next week? Yeah, sure, whatever you say. Okay, uh, thank you very much. I got another black t-shirt just like this I think I'm going to wear. Stephen Pearl, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Bye-bye, Stephen. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, how are you? Welcome back. Thank you so much, Stephen Pearl. And my eyes are itching. Oh, God. Will this never stop? Will this never stop? No, oh, boy. I look at the bags under my eyes. My wife said she was going to pay to get rid of those for me. Uh, you know, I I don't know. You know, I, it, it wouldn't it be terrible if I suddenly had my face fixed and then I died about a month later. You know, at this age, that could happen. Hey, look, folks, guess what I got? See this? See? See the light on both hands. I got my, uh, I, uh, Elgato sent me my uh, replacement for the, um, for the key light that went out. See, and when I talk about key lights, folks, just so you know what I'm talking about. For instance, turn this one off. Hey, Matt, turn that one off. See? See what happens? See? One side of my face is gone. Turn that one off and look at what we got. We got nothing. Boy, isn't that terrible? But then you do this, and it's like, it's worth paying for the high def camera that I have, the 4K camera that I have. Uh, let, me, uh, let me take first the waiting room off, turn the waiting room off, and admit Howard who is, um, uh, there we go, there's Howard. Uh, let me see here. Let me also then do a little, are you there, Howard? Yeah, let me see here. Let me uh, do a little transition, and there's Howard. Oh, wait a minute, I gotta, oh, that, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong, wait a minute, I gotta get this one. Okay, hold on a second. I still got the one with Stephen Pearl on there. Ah. Anyway, hi, how you doing there? Howard. I'm doing wonderful. Yeah. Uh, let me just uh, let me just do something here. Let me get to my Zoom panel. Okay. There we go. See, I have two different Zoom things. One for the interview that I do, and one uh, for the other. And here comes Charlie, and here comes Phil. I don't have to do anything anymore. I could just leave the room, and you guys could just talk to each other. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Howard. If you reach up into the corner. Uh, Charlie, up into to your right, your right upper corner, okay, and then you reach down into your lower uh, left corner. I think Howard, you could high five him. Ah. Wait a minute, the other side, <laughs> other side, other side. No, no, there, down, down, down in the corner, down in the corner. There, there we go. go. There we go. They're high fiving each other. Isn't that, <laughs> isn't that wonderful? Yeah, yeah. Nobody wants to high five you, Phil. So don't you know. Yeah, he's I'm over pointing. there. Huh? I'm pointing, but I got to point the other way. There no, we you're, go. Yeah, you're pointing the right way. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie, you can point towards him if you want to. Yeah. Hello, Rob. Yeah. Hello, Bree. Bree's joining I'm us. The other way. And yeah. Look, I do this. It's all hands free. How do you like my light back? Don't I look better? Yeah. Hello, Rob. Hello, Bree. Bree's joining us. Yeah, but he doesn't turn his audio down, Bree. How do you like my light back? Don't I look better? Hello, Rob. Hello, Bree. Bree's joining us. Yeah, Wait a minute. No. Sorry about that. Wait a minute. No, that's somebody else. I think that's somebody else that we're getting it from. Wait a minute. No. Sorry about that. Who are we getting it from? Yeah, I thought I was muted. No, you you weren't muted. You were muted. Okay. That was me. Oh, it was you. I had, I, yeah, I was doing some voice tracking earlier, and I forgot that the audition channel has to be off when I... All right, see. Okay. That was me. So 
Oh, but it's still there. I just heard that that was me again. Uh, yeah. It's gone now. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, you know, I, I, need, uh, I need to know if I'm too hot on, on my mic. Um, yeah, you're too hot on your mic. <laughs> you are. Since I have the audio professionals here who can tell me. Yeah. Uh, you're much louder I, than everybody else. Oh, okay. Then I need to adjust that. Yeah. Um, okay. How about now? Yeah. Is that okay? That, that sounds all right. I'll let you know if, it, if it's bad. Ah, okay. okay. I got right. my mic here. Yeah, but what is what mic kind of mic is that? This is a Sennheiser MKH 80P48. Why does everybody like for instance, you don't have a screen in front of your microphone, do you uh, Rob? No. You know, I don't use one in in mine, and who are the only two radio people here? I used to when I used this. Thing. I never use it. I never cared. I never don't puff. You know, I got a, a thing here, you know, covering. When I use this mic, I used to have one. Yeah. yeah. Is that a Neumann? No, this is a cheapo Samsung. Yeah, $4,000 uh, for one of those. Yeah, Neumann. This, this Sennheiser is quite expensive. That, uh, that's the one that's like super directional. Uh, yeah, you can like news reporters would use so that you know the the whole you don't get anything from the sides. Yeah, Brian Neary is. Uh, oh, there we go. Well, and it's super sensitive. So and it's condenser. So I, I this isn't even the standard uh, windscreen. This is actually it from sounds, another. It sounds a little thing. tinny though, doesn't it, guys? Yeah, there's yeah, no really. flow in. There's no base. Gear it in. No, no base oh. on yours. I can uh, I can adjust that I think, but yeah. If you can deal with it. Uh, yeah, like, turn it down just a little can. bit more, though. It's a little loud still. It can't yeah. be any it's more too loud. sensitive. It can't be any more sensitive okay. than, me, than me. I'm taking hormones. <laughs> I've got two other mics I can try, but. Yeah, maybe but, just, but if you can turn your mic down just a little bit more or back off from it, maybe that, that would okay, be. Okay, I turned it down again. That's perfect. Mm, I guess it's okay. You yep. can back off a little bit, too. Back off of the mic. Okay, yeah, because it is a condenser studio mic yeah yeah i don't know why you guys go out and get all these great mics i'm just using a little crappy akg here that i just happen to like the way AKG it makes AKG is not crappy well it, it's only how much did it cost me about 150 bucks something like that yeah. you got a deal because i think there are a lot more than that well i had one that i used with uh with um uh play tv and mm -hmm. i then started using it when we did the original tv show here from the studio, and I liked the mic and the way I sounded on it so much, I bought another one, bought more up-to-date one than that one, because that was like 20 years old. And uh, I, I just like the way it makes my voice sound, you know. But I, I've never used a windscreen. I've never, you know, I, I know guys like Howard Stern who spend their life getting all their vo voice compressed and the, the, the beat bass brought out. Into the, you know what I'm talking about, Rob? Yep. You, you know what he does. Yeah, he, he's, I have a, a processor on yeah. this mic. Yeah, but he's over-processed. And I never, ever processed my voice. I didn't <laughs> care. This is my voice, okay? It's, it's fine. You, you want to know something? I just looked up the price on this puppy. Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, on. What, on the one you're Microphones using? Microphones are not Yeah. Cheap. You didn't buy it? Yeah. You didn't buy it? Stole it. Uh <laughs> I didn't pay this for it. That's for sure. Yeah. But, well, okay. That was just that's the well, how official much Sennheiser say, site. How much they and say that's that, like brand new? How much they say that mic is worth? Four thousand three hundred dollars. And how much did you pay for it? Yeah, I'm showing. I'll show it to you right now. A Neumann doesn't cost that much. Uh, that I know. That's why I think it's it's uh, ludicrous. Not, you know what a Neumann is? is? It's an annoying dollars. human. This is the. Uh, this is the link, Rob. You can I check it out. Four hundred and something dollar mic. Uh, that if it's the Stenheiser. You know, I'm going to start cutting out people being able to chat back and forth to each other because it comes up on my screen and it's annoying. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Hello, hello, uh, 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 Brian, and hello to to uh, to Jeff. Uh, hey, hello, Jeff. And uh, Jeff Stein's there. He's he's our yeah. good friend, Jeff, and uh, uh, Robert Force. Hmm. Wilbur Force. Yeah. What I also like about Zoom is that I don't have to remember your names anymore. Because your name is there all the time. Wilbur. Huh? That's if you put them in there. 
Yeah. Good, I can remember my own name too. You can remember. Yeah, we have uh, we have Thursday and Friday off. Bizarre enough, I don't know why they gave us two holidays, but I'm not turning that down. Thursday and Friday off. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fourth of July. Maybe I should take it off. I don't know. My my old position though, the person who has my old position, they're yeah. working all weekend. <laughs> What, what what was your old position? Prone with your butt up in the air? What was what was your old position? I was the director of manufacturing. So I was run I was the top person for all of the manufacturing lines for Sunnyvale. So when we wait just before COVID hit, I got the promotion over to the projects. And then uh, yeah, so this new position, his office is right next to mine. Does this so new I'll position pay more than the old position? Oh, okay. I'm not going to ask how much. And I have weekends off and all the good stuff. Now. Yeah, and you know, I was attached that, to my phone. You're making Brian a fortune. Brian makes the most money of all of us, and he doesn't even have a mic. <laughs> I have. I That's right. Tonight. I'm That's, on my right. <laughs> That's right. That's um, right. My kid, my kid has the microphone and. Yeah. That's the one we never he see. His stuff away. Uh, we had a long chat tonight. Uh. He got his stuff back. Oh, so. oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, don't let him play um, sure. The Last of Us. I think I've seen that preview on one other. He goes downstairs and watches some of the videos mm -hmm. and how they use the guns and all the stuff. I think I saw that. Uh, it, well, it's extra violent, okay? But it, it also, let's see, there's, a, there's some girl-on-girl -girl action. Oh, yeah. What was that one called again? <laughs> kind of girl-on-girl yeah. -girl action. And uh, <laughs> no, there's a, they, they, they actually break into a synagogue, and it turns out one of these lesbians is Jewish, so she gives a lecture on Judaism to this other girl. With her vagina? Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, it's really... Uh, it's, I, it's, and also, they smoke pot in the game. Ah. Yeah. So if you don't mind your kid being exposed to that, it's not going to ruin his life. Let me put it that way. No. But it's a good adventure game, and my hand is killing me now. From, from playing the game? Hours and hours of this, you know. Oh, okay, whatever. You know, and I'm only, I'm only doing it in light mode. It's all right. Okay. Yeah. Is, this, is this one better? Warmer. Yeah, we're not ah, here testing warmer. microphones today. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, Alex, this is the only chance no, I, but I mean, I No, ask but ask I mean, this. you know, this is a show where we discuss stuff, not how your mic sounds. Well, why are you playing games? How about that? Well, I'm talking about... Uh, you have so much time? Well, because I'm the host and I get to pick the topics. <laughs> hey, Bree, I like the second mic better. You I, like this one better? Yeah, this one's much better. Yeah. Okay. Makes your voice I'll, sound I'll much nicer. Up. Yeah, it is a $3,000 microphone at Adorama, that other one. That's the an other expensive one, yeah. mic. This one, I don't know what it is. I think it's a Sennheiser 421. I, I'll tell you what. The reason I, that doesn't sound as good as that one does is that one needs to be processed. That must be, I've never heard of that yeah. mic, but. This is a U441 that I'm on right now, which I think was standard at radio in Asia for many, many years. And um, yeah, I, I got it from a, uh, I got all these mics from a, a music store in Indonesia. Did you loot? <laughs> huh? Were you looting? No. No. <laughs> During the uh, riots? I think, yeah, two of them I got in Indonesia. One I got in Thailand, I think. And, you know, I just look for uh, good deals. If I can see them, I pick them up. And um, I used to be able to recognize all the brands and the names. Now I'm not so good with it, but uh, I think it's good. I think it's better than the laptop mic. Gee, so, our audience is dwindling now. Testing. I have one other one. Which is uh, yeah, E four sure. e five S. Yeah, this is really interesting. <laughs> Sorry, we just know. lost Mike like ten, we lost like Mike ten Mike. people watching this. We oh, started talking numbers. about microphones. I, he's got three mics and they have none. Don't worry, I've got seventeen devices here. I can start logging in and bring our numbers way up. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I you know, but we'll know you're faking it, and so it won't mean anything to me. So this is, today I was interviewing Pearl in the middle of it. I almost passed out. I was so lightheaded. Oh, I must. Wow. I'm, 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 well, I didn't have breakfast. I was just going to ask you: Have you changed your diet, or are you? I don't know. Alcohol? I don't know. But I just was, uh, you know. And it's funny when I get to the evening to do the show, I start feeling better. Hmm. You know, my breathing, everything gets better. And I don't know if I'm just not. 
don't have a bad case of the blues, you know, okay. uh, just being in constantly, yeah. right. you know. But then I want to go out, and uh, tomorrow it's only going to be 90 degrees here. Yeah, well, like I've I want to go out in that. I've been working down on the patio all week long. Instead of I haven't been in my office at all. It's been beautiful here. Really? Sitting out back, beautiful. S smoking a cigar. Working, smoking a cigar, <laughs> relaxing, yeah. enjoying the beautiful. And then I got day. itchy eyes, so I've been using this stuff. It's called allergy eye relief. And it only relieves your eyes for about five minutes, and then you're back to itching again. But you only put one drop in, and it's fine. Now, isn't this more interesting than talking microphones? Anyway, <laughs> let me see here. Where are we? Um, God, we are... You know, this country is such a, in such a goddamn mess right now. Is there anything good, any good news? Alex, you think that uh, the U.S. is a mess. Now you can turn that mic friendly. up. What? Now you can turn, turn your mic up or get closer. Just get closer to, to it. I can turn it up. Yeah. Is that good? Good. Yeah. yeah. What were you going to say? Uh, I, I have a friend in Beirut, mm -hmm. and I was chatting with him last night. Their, uh, their currency is devalued by like 80%. And um, he's still being asked to pay rent in U.S. dollars, but you can't get U.S. dollars. Apparently, the previous leaders took all the money and put it in Switzerland. <coughs> uh, and the COVID-19 is, is hitting there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, I mean, it's like the whole country is set to collapse, <laughs> you know. So, I don't know. I, I count my it blessings. collapsed 25 years ago. <laughs> well, what? You can make that argument. What did you Beirut, say? Lebanon. No, not really. I mean, you know, it used to be. Uh, I had friends that lived there. They said it was it was magnificent. Mm -hmm. You know, it was it, it was kind of like with Abu uh, Abu Dhabi or where was it? Used to live, I agree. Dubai. Dubai. It was, it, they said it was. You know, it would have been the equivalent of like a Dubai, but thirty years ago, and it was uh, the Paris of the Levant. Yeah, and now or, or thirty years ago, it, it just got destroyed. And uh, yeah, there was a war there. It's like Damascus. Yeah, there was a war Wait, there, which? Phil. There? Yeah. Yeah, there was a war there. Uh, Usually yeah, well, places uh, look like a disaster when there's been a war. Yeah. Yeah. But unfortunately, there was a war there, and, and it went from being a beautiful place to being a, a dreary desert. Well, you know, I mean, this country used to be a beautiful place, and now it's a shithole. Uh, it still is. A shithole, yes. No, absolutely. it's beautiful. Just got to go below 112th Street. Uh, I see. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It, how come we're we're probably the most hated country in the world right now? Yep. Mm -hmm. And the sad thing is that we were on the right trajectory. You know, everything was starting to come down, and we were we were set. And then, you know, everybody's screwed you know. Up I mean, look, so. look. I'm gonna. I, I let let me for a moment say something on uh, Trump's behalf, and that wow. is this COVID thing wasn't of his making, okay? <laughs> but solving the problem and the situation we're in now is of his making. His complete non-caring about this, trying to not yeah, admit worse. that this problem even existed for a long time caused hundreds a uh, hundred thousand lives okay that needlessly if, if if somebody were in there who just grabbed the reins of this thing the minute it happened and started steering the country in the right direction mm -hmm. and had that kind of ability uh we wouldn't have as many people dead we wouldn't have as many cases out there anybody so, up for a, anybody so up i for feel a big... sorry for him that he got caught in the middle of this but i don't feel sorry for him because he didn't do anything about it yes howard I was just going to say, Hawaii is a good example. We have had less than a thousand cases yeah. in the entire state. But you took the you took yeah. the you took the bull by the horns, right? <laughs> yeah, they shut it down. I mean, a lot of people lost jobs, but yeah, they. they what did they do, they, Howard? Did they close the bridge that goes from the states to the to the islands, uh, well, you and just make you fly over? Have you ever driven from California to Hawaii? No, I think Absolutely. he's talking about. Well, he can do it because he owns a <laughs> snorkel. A he, he owns then, he, he owns a scuba scuba gear, so he yeah, could do yeah. it. And there are no bridges between islands either, so you no, have right. to fly. Well, in. They, then then they didn't have to close down the island to traffic. 
to keep the cases of COVID out of there, huh? Well, you, 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 but, 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 yeah. Uh, you wanted to say something, Rob? I was going to say, is is everybody up for a big party in South Dakota for Fourth of July? <laughs> nope. Hey, I'm going to run around without a mask on the Fourth and, and sneeze. Is South Dakota clean? Better bring your asbestos suit. That's where Trump's going to be. Oh, big, oh, oh, is he? Oh, is that yeah, his? Is that his? No net? social. And and I saw the governor of South Dakota on television today saying, "If you want to come." We're not going to social distance. You can wear a mask if yep. you want, but we're going to have a party. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Is he a Democrat or Republican? Oh, she's she's Republican. Republican. What do you think? She's an idiot. Of course what she is. Idiot, yeah. I mean, even even uh, even the even Trump is starting to say wear a mask. He finally today said, well, you know, if you're in a situation where you think you need the mask, it wouldn't be a bad idea to wear one. <laughs> Oh, but he should be like he should be like Cuomo and say everybody must wear a mask. He, he still can't be light like that. No, he he he, like he, that. he has not taken as I said earlier the bull by the horns. He has not grasped this problem. He first of all you have to admit there is one, and for the longest time he wouldn't admit there was a problem. Oh, it's he just going to it's going to disappear in a couple it's of a, months. The warm weather will get here. Face. It'll be gone. He said today that it's going to go away. Did you forget what Trump said in 2002 or 2003? He grasps things quite well. In 2003? What does that have to do with right now? He He said he grabs grabs him by the pussy. pussy. Oh, okay. He grasps him so well. (laughs) Yeah, that's that's what he can grasp, his pussy. Uh, But, but, you know, I mean, uh, he, he denied the existence of this thing for so long and did nothing about it. And now we're in. We are the most infected state country in the world, yep. in the world. And if I were president of the United States. States with this going on, I wouldn't feel I'd done a very good job. Would you, Charlie? You were going to say something. Now, yeah, we set another record for uh, new cases in Texas. New cases. Yeah, but what in the United States or in Texas? In the United States. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah almost seventy thousand. Really, in one day. In one day. What? Well, that's only because we're testing. If we weren't testing, there wouldn't be any people with the <laughs> COVID. Right. Well, yeah, Fauci said we're going to hit 100,000 per day soon yeah. if we don't yeah, they, do that. I, 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 I don't know what's filling up all those hospitals, but, you know, yep. you know. Texas is already having to do the death panels because they're 100% full in the hospital. So they got to make decisions on who's going to get treated and who's not. <laughs> yep. Didn't they bring a ship into Galveston? One uh, of those uh, uh, they need uh, the ships again. Uh, uh, how, uh, at, hospital sad. Sad. At, sad. At this point, do we not agree? It's it's going to run rampant. Pretty yep. much, uh, you know, everybody seventy eighty percent are going to be exposed to this. It's just a matter of time. Well, our our That's our governor our governor today went on the air and he said, "I got bad news for you." He said, "We're not going to reopen the restaurants for indoor eating." Good. He said the reason being that uh, he said number one. Uh, we don't know if the restaurant people will abide by the rules that we're going to put in place. Mm -hmm. And secondly, we're worried about the people coming in from out of state who, when they come to New York, want to go to a restaurant. And those people are infected. He said... Broadway is is shut down, they said, till what, 2021? Yeah, till next year. they never come back. Uh, But in California, at least in Contra Costa County, uh, they were going to open up on today, and now they've uh, had another directive. I think it's going to be another three weeks uh, at least until gyms uh, uh, and um, people that do personal service like uh, can, tattoo parlors. Can, not I, that say, I, can I say this? Gavin Newsom has done a crappy job. He's Why done a that? real crappy job. Because I mean, he had it, but he had the situation in hand, and then he let it just go boom. He didn't use the science, and didn't test with the science to decide when to open up, how to open up. Everybody was pressuring every governor in this country about, oh, let's reopen, let's get the economy going. Well, the economy's great if there are people who aren't dead, but if you're killing people in service of the economy. We've got a little bit of soul searching to do in this country. What what I heard today was it was younger people that were getting the virus 
and that the younger people had a higher survival rate. That's bullshit, than, Phil. Than they, they are now finding so, out. They're finding out now that's not true. Well, uh, and it if just you, came out today. They found out that old assumptions. Every time we have an old assumption, it seems to go by the wayside. And one of the old assumptions was that young people don't get it. They're getting it now. They're getting terribly ill, and they are in those ICUs. Okay, right. but they're not the, dying. Did you see the? Same, the their, their death rate is not They the have same. a little more stamina, but they're still right. dying. Did, did Some you, are. Did you see that, like, Mr. Universe guy? Did you see the pictures Arnold of him? Arnold Schwarzenegger? No, no, no. There's this guy <laughs> who competed. He was muscle-bound. I mean, they had pictures before and after. He got corona. He yeah. wound up. They had to put him in a coma hmm. for weeks, three weeks or something like that. He looks like a different person. He lost all of his muscle tone. No steroids. He struggled big time. And he yeah. said, I am still far from, and this is a young guy. Was he still in far natural from health build. at this point. Was he a natural bodybuilder? Or he did lost he use... his ability to, to swallow. We don't know, Phil. He lost his ability to walk. Yeah. He had to learn all of this all over again mm -hmm. from coronavirus. So let's just give it to everybody. Herd immunity. Yeah. 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 Well, Herd immunity, whether we I, like I think it or everybody's not. Well, wait it. a minute. Brian brought up remdesivir. Uh, remdesivir. I think they said that the the emergency case only that they give all the freebies out. Now they're going to start charging. Like I don't know when next week or something. It's like three one one thousand thousand dollars thousand dollars for treatment. And Charlie, well, you remember what they said? How much they would need a treatment? They they kept saying. They say some numbers, but thousands of dollars for them. Yeah. To, and and um, our, 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 our insurance company is going to, uh, uh, going to uh, uh, pay, for, pay it. for it. No, I don't the think. There's some question. That. Huh? What would you say, Bree? We, we, the U.S. is hoarding remdesivir. Oh, oh really? Not, yes. I heard that zinc. Uh, oh, uh, Phil, uh, don't start. Don't start, Phil. Stop. Lung. Stop. Wait a minute. Stop, Phil. Drink to Stop. Merrick T. Stop. I, I, I Stop, to Phil. You do not give out medical advice on this program. <laughs> you don't give. You don't. Well, no, I'm sorry. I don't want I don't somebody to think that they're going to prevent getting COVID because they take zinc. zinc. Well, there, uh, there's something in the lungs. It starts with an S. I forgot what it is. Uh, Stop. Salt claims. Solaclines, something like that. Where did you where did you hear this bullshit? Um, it was it was some medical thing I was listening to. Yeah, I'm where. Uh, um, it oh, could have been the, the uh, health channel. The, the health Mute channel. channel. Mute what health channel? content by Phil on the Gap Net Network is yeah. created only for informational purposes. Look it up. Hey, Bree. Not intended to be a substitute for professional Bree. medical advice. When you're not doing a, a PSA, use, use your PhD. Hey, use your PhD to look it up about zinc. And uh, Phil, uh, zinc has been is very good at killing a cold. Okay, and it's good yeah. at killing a cold for a very simple reason that uh, uh, that the stuff that causes colds goes into your nostrils, and once it gets into your nostrils, it then gets into your system. If you take zinc, it has a hard time adhering to the mucous membrane. But that's as close as it gets, Phil. Uh, no, if you choose to rely on any information provided by Phil. <laughs> yeah, you take a gun to your head and shoot yourself first because it's better than listening to his medical so, advice. So, yeah, for the vials, they say $2,300 for government and then $3,100 for U.S. insurance companies. Yeah. For a dose? Yeah, yeah for a dose. dose? And a yeah, million and never, dollars if you don't have insurance. And what, what about, wait, let, me ask, let me ask you a question about the dosing. Is it one dose and then that's it for remdesivir? Or is it? A... Yeah, they're not saying here, but what, the, what I was listening to, they were talking about how many doses you would need per week, and then you need that for a couple of weeks to get the yeah. uh, Okay. So, the, so again, the poor will suffer. Yeah, they're jacking up the price. Yeah, I don't feel I don't feel bad for our tests. Our tests aren't that expensive. Bill, I don't <laughs> want any bogus medical advice. Oh, no bogus. Put this on is, this no. is you see. Uh, I don't today. give it. I don't give a shit, Phil. You I'm see really, help. I don't you want this them. on my program. Do you, you understand them. that? Right. You can mute them. We ran the disclaimer. You know, I mean, the thing is, folks, if you're interested in finding about out about zinc and COVID, you can find it on the internet. 
but don't listen to I, I don't like medical doctors. advice to be given on my show by people who are not doctors. How do you know? I saw a guy with a, I'm the rug doctor a sign at one of those right wing po uh, protests, and it said that vitamin C cures COVID. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I mean, our governor, for instance, today said that when the when the uh, they're going to let the um, VMA awards take place at the Barclays Center, and what the Barclays Center is going to do is they are going to put in very fine HEPA filters that work against um, uh, the can filter out the coronavirus pretty fast, but they don't. But he also said today. But don't take that as an answer. He said it is just a thought that maybe that will work and that why will do they help. Have to, why do they feel they need to do the VMA awards? I don't yeah. know uh, because Beyonce needs to show off her jewelry. I don't know. I have no idea. It not, doesn't make sense just to me. The awards, but not a, a crowd, right? They're not they, gonna no, they're going to have an audience. I mean, they got to have the uh, they got to have the uh, performers and the. Uh, uh, the uh, the people who are accepting their awards there. Yes. Yeah. You know, I, I'm sorry, but singers and these people like people make millions of dollars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Baseball, basketball, all these stars, these are risks in their occupation. Mm -hmm. And because they're yeah. not going to be able to make as much money as they used to, this is the risk that they took to go in the occupation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But for VMA but awards, then, it's ridiculous. But that's fine, but then they're going to leave there and they're going to interface with people when they go to the, the drive in or the, the drive through or but you know they're what not I mean? Make they millions, go. Yeah, they can make millions in those big concerts that they used to. Yeah. I still am waiting for reports out of Tulsa. You know, did anybody going to Trump's rally have COVID 19 or catch it or. Is it two weeks it? yet? Yeah. I yeah, we haven't gotten any reports yet. About a week, I think. Was yeah, it a week next, ago this Saturday? Weekend will be two weeks. Well, I mean, what we'll find out is that if nobody caught it going to Trump's rally, it's because stupid people are immune. Or no yeah, one was there. Nobody was there. Maybe How no, long are you going to keep up, up with this zinc thing, Phil? As long as it takes. Jeez, oh my. Well, we people people can look this up if they want to. I just don't want it to be passed across on this program as right. solid information well, coming yeah, from I mean, a from a questionable source, which is you. Ah, uh, keep you keep you know you, you just got to do all the things you do to try to keep healthy. I mean, you eat right, you diet. It's all that all that. But I mean, how many times you hear in a report that somebody w met all those criteria or? you know, seemingly, and yet they still pass. Mm -hmm. We, how far in are we? And we still don't know very much about COVID-19 or coronavirus. It, it manifests itself. It, sometimes it's asymptomatic. And in other cases, it manifests itself in odd ways. I mean, my best friend has it and his son in Houston. And, you know, it, one day the, they, they're okay. And the next they're not feeling great. And it, mm -hmm. it, it's crazy. It's really, it's so unpredictable. unpredictable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I mean, I, I just think that uh, the, the problem we have here with the whole coronavirus thing is every day we learn new pieces of information that we, one day we did not think were true. Like we said, young people don't get it. Well, now that a lot of people, young people are being infected by it, we're learning that young people do get it and that they do get it to, uh, in varying degrees, everything from light to death, okay? Mm -hmm. And that just because you're young doesn't mean you're not gonna get it. And by the way, you really wanna get it? Even if it's lighter than usual? I've, I've, people who describe even a light version of this thing describe a rather horrible condition. Mm -hmm. they, it feels like you have glass shards in your lungs. You know, I mean, this is a horrible, horrible disease. Mm -hmm. And the worst part about it is, okay, so you're young, you don't care, you, you, know, you can go out and party, it's not going to get me. Yeah, but it's going to get grandma, okay? It's going to get people around you. And have a little more caring for the people around you. That would be very nice, you know? So, anyway. Where are you, where are you going? Oh, Bree, Bri, he's going, he, where are you going, Shanghai? No <laughs> left, too. We oui, we. Oui. Yeah. Him and Phil are gonna go talk. I think yeah. there's a meeting in the boys' room. Yeah, him and Phil. Right. <laughs> I mean, um, I you know, I mean, 
Here in New York, we've done a very good job of closing everything down and then turning this curve around. I mean, uh, Jeff knows what we've done in this state. It's Absolutely. been nothing short of amazing. Yes. You know, and when you compare it to the rest of the country, we're down here. We're the, we were the hot spot of the nation with just incredible amount, 800 deaths a day. And we, that's like diminished down to, I think we had yesterday, it went up a bit. We had 11 dead. We had five earlier this week. We have an average of about eight dead a day. Okay. And uh, that's, that's almost nothing at all. Okay. I mean, it's sad, but it's almost nothing at all. But we managed to take this curve and we managed to this mountain and bend it literally and just bring it down. And we're not about ready to make any mistakes right now. And our governor is a little mad at the people, of, at the young people in the state of New York because he says there are places in Manhattan where kids are going out, they go to a bar, they buy a drink, and then they congregate outside the bar. He said, this kind of behavior has to stop, and who's got to stop it are the local police. Uh, and what and police? Phil, I knew you were going to say that. They've still got police here in New York. Yeah, the, the police. They're not going to respond to anything except a report. If I was a cop, well, then now, fuck just, them. Fire every last one of them, and let's get some I people who are willing to anybody. do the job. I wouldn't take anybody into custody. I wouldn't. Okay, well anything. then you're not a public servant, Phil. We've established that. Well, right. neither neither are the thousands that are continuing to carry the badge right now, and those that can retire are. And you'll see, already the murder rate in, in New York is up 50% this year. Yeah, well, everybody, everybody, would like, everybody would like to kill de Blasio. That's the reason why. <laughs> of course, especially yeah. Trump for him writing that uh, Black Lives Matter out in front of his I mean, if, uh, Rob, if you had to go to someplace else that was the safest place in America, where would you go right now? Hawaii. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty safe where we are. Oh, I where you checked. are, yeah. 341 cases in my county. It, it, since the beginning. That's it. Yeah. In the county. Since the beginning. Yeah. I feel pretty damn safe where I am. Mm -hmm. You know, but I still don't go out and just, you know, right. you don't play tempt, around. You I don't, don't tempt fate. No. And hey. San Quentin Prison has a major outbreak of COVID. And they're talking about letting prisoners out. Uh, you know, uh, that'll, that'll I think that's fun. a good idea. We, I think our prisons are too full. Yeah. Well, so I don't know. I don't know murder that somebody that. else. Well, it doesn't I mean know. that. I, see, that's the one thing I disagree with Cuomo on is I was just letting prisoners out because it's crowded. I mean, come on. No, they're, they're, they're not letting. Ju they're, no, but they're not letting just any prisoners out. They're letting they're prisoners letting murderers out. murderers out from what I'm told. Rapists. Yes. Rapists. No, they what are. I've been told, what he I've is. been told, it's nonviolent offenders. <laughs> well, you've been told wrong. That's the one thing I don't agree with. Well, I, you know, I haven't heard of any. I live here in New York, and I haven't heard about him. He never has mentioned wholesale uh, letting out of people in the prisons. He I has. So. There has been talk about in most states of letting nonviolent prisoners, nonviolent offenders, go because there are I far too many should. people. There. Shut up a second, Phil. Let me talk. Uh, uh, there are far too many people in prisons for crimes which really... Marijuana. The marijuana. That good shouldn't example. Be, you shouldn't be in right. prison for marijuana. Right, let, but there are a uh, lot of people, you know, who are in prison for nonviolent offenses, and they should be doing some kind of public service or something I like that. Yeah. Michael Cohn was released, Trump's uh, previous attorney. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think he's got to stay at home, though. He's got to stay at home. Yeah. Check out, those, this, check out this yeah. picture. Same with, uh, what's, what's his face? This oh, oh, is this the guy before that's and after? Builder? Yeah, that's the bodybuilder. Oh, which, oh, which, is the, which is the, the writing and... on his, um, uh, on uh, is in the way. Let me see if there's a picture. Yeah, well, no, there's not. Uh, you kind of see that he's he's lost some serious weight. Well, <laughs> he has a pot belly now. I mean, it's so, unbelievable. So <laughs> Well, he needs to get back in the gym. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Speaking of, uh, yeah. You know, people, uh, the young people in New York, in, in Singapore, uh, we, we got word like a day or two ago that uh, a bunch of Britons uh, were taking, they got takeout 
alcohol from a bar and they were out, you know, drinking on the steps in front of it and they got they were banned, deported, I guess, and they were fined nine thousand dollars. each. Good. Good. That's what we should be doing. You know, I mean, uh, so, I mean, it, it is the job of the local police to enforce social distancing. And it's not a hard thing to enforce because you just drive down the street and you see people who aren't social distancing. Like I'm saying, where are the cops with all these fireworks? They can't find them? I mean, they're shooting them off from roofs. You can see where the roofs are. You can hear where the sound's coming from. Victimless, you know, they're, victimless crimes. They're, they're not going to do it. They're uh, not going to go uh, after them. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That is, it, it, social, avoid, it, not doing social distancing in this day and age, not wearing a mask in this day and age is not a nonviolent crime. Mm-hmm. That's the new red hat, you know, the Make America Great Again hat. If, if somebody's wearing those, uh, people go after them. If somebody's not wearing their mask, people go after them. It's becoming a... What do you uh, mean they go after them? You go down, down to these bars down in Soho, and these kids are standing out on the street, not social distancing, without masks, drinking. So yes. what, are you, what are you saying, that the new social uh, norm is to have to wear a mask? Yes. It but, should be. That? It should be the law. The president should sign an executive order saying well, that everyone, Biden, when they're in, in public or uh, not in social distance from somebody else, have to wear a mask. Well, okay, so the guy says I was six feet away or ten feet away, and he walked saw, towards me. I saw a woman the other day who said on TV... It's my constitutional right not to wear a mask. Yeah. I'm, tr- so. I'm trying to figure out where in the Constitution does it say you have the right to wear a mask? Bear yeah. arms, we yeah. argue about, but the, the amendment about That's wearing that. a mask, I don't think yeah. exists. It's the 30th it's just, Amendment. If, if they get in the car and then go and drive, we arrest them. Yeah. Yeah. We throw right. the book at them. You know, because their actions can harm someone else. So... If, and if one of them has COVID-19 and coughs all over everyone, mm-hmm. what's the difference? Exactly. Now, Jeff, Jeff, are you still at home or where are you now? No, I'm in uh, Massachusetts. Okay. How is it up there right now? Well, I'm at Cape Cod. Yeah, I know. And, but still. And I got to tell you, everybody here has got a mask on. Anybody walking around, everybody's pretty cautious about everything around here. That's that's amazing. Yeah. And, you know, that's what's going on. Um, and Cape Cod is an, an area where you could probably pretty easily keep social distance, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. But still, yes. people are wearing the masks and making sure that Absolutely. they don't in, infect Everybody's each other. Everybody's cautious about that kind of is it an older Is it an older population up there? No, not now. Oh, okay. It's all becoming right. younger and younger all the and, time. And the young people wearing masks, too? Yes. yes. Yeah. Hey, Alex, yeah. I saw a video today of uh, the, uh, Manhattan in the 50 area, you know, 50th and 5th mm-hmm. and that area. Mm-hmm. And all the stores were boarded up. It looked like a, a war zone there. W- were there riots over there uh, that actually happened? Because the news media isn't showing it, but this video did. Well, a lot of those places are, are boarded up because they're just boarded up because they're not open. Right. And they just don't want any hanky panky to go on. And they're trying to protect their property from like the, the Breitling watch store uh, yeah. was hit yeah. and, and they cleaned it out. Uh, the Rolex store, there was a whole bunch of yeah. stores. Yeah, well, I mean, that happened. Stores. That happened. But, uh, you know, blame de Blasio. He didn't have the police out there to stop it. You know, the only store that I saw that didn't get hit was the Gucci store. And that was in Trump Tower. So <laughs> they must have had some good, <laughs> pro- good go protection. Huh? I also heard that uh, oh, oh, I'll a lot get to you of in a second, synagogues John. are closed at their facility, but they're yeah. doing all the stuff on Internet. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, uh, yes, John. Yeah. Uh, San Francisco, uh, they've been cleaning up all the, uh, the, the tent cities all around the Tenderloin and, you know, taking them all down uh, and putting the people in hotel rooms and stuff. Ah. Uh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But like, they, they only get eighteen months, and they have they have to be supposedly back in the hotel room by ten o'clock. Yeah. 
they're not in, they get kicked out. But I can't believe that. Well, why would they do that if they're just going to put them back on the street? You know, so. You know, you know what I I, I wanted to try and, and figure out, and I couldn't, I can't really figure it out. Uh, uh, this in Seattle, that whole street thing that's been going huh. on, where they blocked off the streets and everything. Well, they went in today, the cops, and cleaned them all out, and said, "That's it, the party's over." Uh, the only thing I couldn't figure out in all of that, I mean, I, I'd be sympathetic with them, except I don't know what they were there for. Yeah, really. Yeah. You know, of all places, Seattle, you know, it's not exactly, the, you know, racist city, USA. Yeah. You know, so I don't, I, I, I didn't really get it, you know, so. You know, uh, they had in San Francisco, in Oakland, uh, mm -hmm. they had taken over the uh, plaza out in front of the, um, mm -hmm. uh, what do you I call it? It was, it was like a, it was like a Wall Street uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, the thing, you know, uh, the 1% and, and so forth. I went there one morning and took pictures before everybody woke up. And uh, a lot of the people that were there were homeless. And they said that a lot of the people that were in this chop uh, took advantage of uh, being able to camp in the park and be homeless because they didn't let people stay in the park mm -hmm. uh, you know, until they put up the autonomous zone. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that, that might have been a, a, a big group of them. Yeah, well, I, you know, I have no idea what they were, what they were protesting about, you know, I, and, and tell me what you're protesting about. And I'll probably be sympathetic towards it, but I didn't see any value in them closing down those streets. Oh, it was Black Lives Matter. I don't know that it was Black Lives Matter. Yeah. I mean, it, it just seemed to be all over the place, you know. Hmm, I think uh, it got 10. Free, oh, free no Palestine. Oh. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Now you got 10. Okay. Uh, yeah. And, 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 and let, me, let me see here. How do I get rid of this guy? Free hamburgers. Okay. Well, I, got, I, I got rid of him. And let me just uh, make sure that nobody else gets in here. No, that uh -huh. was interesting, Alex. Uh, the, oh, that was interesting. I see. Free, free. Well, I mean, it was I, a full house. If he would have just stopped <laughs> and he would have talked to us. Yeah, yeah. And we are not right. interested in that. Well, uh, he's uh, he's not getting back in now uh, because I, I I put up the. I, that's a discussion I'm fully able to yeah, engage with. I would like to. I would love to discuss that. But unfortunately, he, that probably wasn't his intention. His intention was to zoom bomb us. He didn't raise his hand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even How know if he, he was listening because he didn't understand Arabic. He, does, he doesn't know the rules. Come on. Yeah. You hear that in um, uh, San Quentin? San Quentin, they list some inmates from Chino in, mm -hmm. and they transfer some Chino uh, uh, inmates. And I don't know how many of those inmates had covid and it spread like wildfire in so they have all these tents now out in the baseball field of san quentin now they're all in panic mode they have like well you know people. we have had a problem over the years and i know phil's going to disagree with this uh of i think stocking our prison with way too many people what are social problems drug problems any number of problems the, the, it's been used as a repository for those problems, those prisons. And it's Probably been used as a repository. It's been and used as a repository basically for people of race. You don't you know. go to San Quentin and Folsom and prisons like that. Uh, unless you're Johnny unless, Cash. Unless, unless I'll, t I'll tell you why, Phil. Why you go, no, I'll tell you why you go to those, those prisons. Because you murder Because somebody. you can't afford a decent lawyer, and you have to hand to have it handled by a, by a, a what do you call it a uh, public defender. A public defender who falls yeah. asleep during the trial. These are the yeah. most heinous crime criminals out there. Phil, I know a guy crime. who's on death row who had to rec who had to have a lawyer uh, appointed to him who fell asleep during the trial. Phil. Hey, was that the guy? He, you know, sometimes he, life sucks, but most of these guys. Uh, yeah, life sucks. There. 
life size. They wind up there because they're murderers, they're rapers. They, they, Everybody in in San Quentin is a raper or a murderer or a, just about. A, oh, I see. Just about. Can you guarantee me that, Phil? I've gone to interviews there. Oh, because and, I've uh, known people who went to San Quentin who went there for marijuana. Uh, they they must have had a lot of marijuana. Well, there. they went there because they didn't have a lawyer. They didn't have all the proper uh, people to take care of it. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, if you're if you're rich and white, you would not go to San Quentin. If if Phil you know, Phil, multiple, wake up and smell the coffee, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm smelling the coffee, and I'm telling you that you don't get there by being a nice guy. These guys are not nice. Well, I mean, and they've done some know, awful things. At, and a at lot the of times uh, at done. the at the generic level and the general level, then Phil has the argument. It's you know, because that it's when you start to look at particular cases and then those add up. So it, it, it depends on how you view it. But anyone who thinks that our prison system is perfect has another thing coming. It's definitely not. And so so there's a there's a gap there between we got to arrest all the criminals and lock them up. And uh, oh, we got to let everybody go free. You know, well, why do we? Uh, I think the question Bree, is, why do we lock them up? We say we want to we want to punish them and we want to rehabilitate. Howard them. knows. And we. Yes, slave Howard. Labor. Howard, what do you what? Slave labor. It's slave labor. Yeah. 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 Think about it. And they have the right cover color to be slaves. You know, well, I mean, it it. it uh, but more than that, uh, it, it's just a, a, a if, if we considered prisons rehabilitation, uh, that'd be one thing. But we don't. We don't re do any rehabilitation in prisons. We just stockpile them and poke them with a stick while they're in the cage. And when we let them out, they're really angry. We do in some communities. Um, it, again, it just depends on the battles you want to pick and yeah. how much time you got and whether or not you... You know, know something well, about the area. We also, we also give these extraordinarily long sentences. You know, there's no other country in the world that gives out sentences like yeah. that. Well, what I, I always, you know, question yeah. is when you see somebody, you'll see two, two, two people get different sentences for, for wildly different things. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like, how did that guy get 10 years for that? And that guy got two years for that. And that but that's worse. You know, and you see about, that a lot. Uh, how about, wait a minute, Brian? Um, Brian's got his own. I, I just started watching that that, that program. I was it Patton Oswald's uh, wife? I thought that was really boring. Was Didn't you find yeah, that boring? Yeah, I know, but but for me, it's the, the whole thing about that. And that, that guy, and he, he pleads guilty, and he just gets all these all these life sentences. I mean, when you think about it, you know, you always say, if you know that person did it, and they admit that they did it, and all that stuff, they should be gone, right? But then how did that guy live? <laughs> Well, I mean, the thing is that he's not living. They say, I think he's in ill health, and I think he hasn't gotten much longer, you know. But yeah, they just but found him guilty so they could get him guilty, and that's it, you know. But There, uh, there was an American that recently went to Russia and uh, uh, went to visit his girlfriend or something, and uh, he had a thumb drive. Uh, they said he was doing espionage, mm -hmm. and they yeah, sen the just story. sentenced him to 16 years hard labor. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, according to his family and everyone else, this is just a... How long a do you think we give him here in this country? Uh, what do you mean? If, if we found somebody doing the same thing that was Russian, how or, or Islamic or whatever, how long do you think we'd put him away for? Well, I, I, a long I probably would put him away for a long time. It's just that we wouldn't be putting him in hard labor breaking rocks. But Unless he gets a pardon. Well, well how, about, how about being stuck in solitary confinement every day for the rest of your life? Well, that's what they're doing to Manafort. Oh. They're not doing that to Manafort. Manafort's not they, uh, in solitary confinement. They left Manafort well, I don't, I don't Manafort think we had a Zoom home. bomber. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, that guy wasn't a Zoom bomber. He's, he's commenting on the YouTube chat. So. Oh, is he really? Palestine yeah. again. Yeah. So, dude, just, you know, come in. No, make Israel no, Palestine case. again. Zim. Free no, the, I, oh, oh. it's like Chab. There he is. Free Palestine. Yeah. He's yeah. Just I, listen, I'm right. all for freeing Palestine. And if you hadn't been a shithead when you came <laughs> on here and you wanted to actually talk about it, we'd love to hear you talk about it. I feel like I, like I getting hard labor. 
That guy getting hard labor, was he putting carpet down? Is that 15 yeah, years hard yeah, labor? Yeah, hey, yeah. If Palestine is free, mm -hmm. why, why do they have to send them all of this money? You free know? of COVID-19. Oh. They're doing a better job than us. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but uh, all I'm saying is, is that, uh, you know, we, we, we give incredibly uh, large sentences to people that are not commensurate with what they did. Um, you know, they, we don't believe in rehabilitation. Otherwise, we would say, hey, you can stay in, you're going to have to stay in prison till you're rehabilitated. And then we would go through a process of rehabilitation. But we don't even do that. You know, people... Let's face it, most of the crimes these people have committed are antisocial acts. And they're antisocial because they've never learned how to live with... Put your hand down, Phil. Haven't learned how to, uh, how to, how to, how to uh, um, uh, live within a society. And so what we do is we put them in prison, and we don't teach them how to live within that society. And they never learn, and they just are repeaters and repeaters and repeaters. If we're going to do something with our prisons, good. I'm all for them. Let's really do something to try and re rehabilitate people and make them have faith in their fellow man and have faith in their community. But we don't. We just slam them in there and make them really angry. And if they're young, we teach them how to be bigger and better criminals than they were before they went in. And no job when they come out. So then they're slammed in the outside world. Yep. And then they start getting back to their old habits. Yeah. So, I you mean, know? you know, I mean, let's have a purpose for sending somebody to jail. Not just we're gonna just we're gonna punish you. They get an education when they go to jail. Oh, they no, learn they how don't. to take away cops' guns. There's, they learn there are different jails kinds too. of crime. Uh, you know the guy that Some got killed. Hold it, the guy that got killed in the uh, D, uh, the DUI stop in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. uh, he he was a felon, and uh, he took uh, away the taser from the other officer. That they practice that day in and day out, how to do gun takeaways, they, and that and that's what they practice. That's what they learn. That's their university, and that's what the guy did to uh, the cop that shot him. And cop shot him in the back. He was running away. He running turned away. around. He shot gun. at him. He was he was gun. It wasn't away. his gun. <laughs> what? So it doesn't. That don't, doesn't don't, matter. Don't, don't argue with Phil. Don't try to make him understand. Because no, he never it will. Doesn't matter. He will My never. He is. never will. He's got a cop right. mind, and that's that, that's the reason we're in trouble but, with the cops right now. Why we need but, a whole new police departments. Charlie, that, you, I noticed that, you nodded no, when I said Alex, that. Don't cut F me off. Yes, I'm cutting you off because I want to no. hear from Charlie. Uh, okay. Yeah, you know, Charlie. Yeah, he was running away. He he was no threat to the cops. Yeah. So, yeah. F Phil. No, I don't think I think what you're saying I know what you're saying but I don't think the training was if you get in a wrestle with a guy and he runs away from you I don't think the training was to I'm not shoot him. talking about what the cop did I'm talking about what the felon who was stopped for DUI uh, at, learned he in wasn't prison was stopped he was already stopped he was asleep Charlie, in his car I, I don't inter I'm not interrupting you am I Well you you are he's hardly spoken all night Phil let him say something Yeah well, he could say it when I stop. Uh, but you, know, you never what, stop. What my point was that the people in prison are in a university and they're learning how to be better criminals. And and what? Well, why why shouldn't they be learning how to be better people? And why don't we do something with compassion to try and do that? You can bring a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Phil, oh, they got privately school. owned. They got all sorts of things. They could take uh, a university. Okay, but Phil, Phil, they're, 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 they're all going to get out eventually, right? Right. Okay, and when they get out eventually, they're going to have all these skills that you're talking about, right? Well, not all of them are going to get out. You know, oh, there's, uh, you know, you, you got your, uh, what's his name that was in, uh, I think, Folsom with the Schwarzdecker on his head. Uh, uh, Manson. Manson. Yeah, he wasn't getting out. He got, and, he got know, out. He got out eventually. Out. Manson, yeah. yeah, he died. Yeah. He got out he got yeah. out feet first. Are you going to go to parole? Oh, my God. It always be so funny. But I the, used to love whole, covering yeah. those. Yeah. The whole idea, and my point was that they're in there learning how to be better criminals instead of learning to get their job. Yeah, we know, we know that, Phil. But what I'm saying is let's do something about that. Let's turn our prisons into re reformatories. I mean, they were they're once called correctional facilities. That's what they're still called. 
and there's nothing we correct. Some people can't be corrected. Phil, that, that is not an excuse. Stuff. Some people can be. And we don't, and, and those be, people they don't. can be. Oh, the, Phil, those that want to be, I can't, can I can't. Be. They, they, they I, offer, yeah. you're, you're, they you're, offer you're, all of this stuff. Your cop mentality is so sick. It's not a cop mentality. It's a realistic. It's a cop mentality, Phil. Aren't and, those uh, prisons like privately Kansas owned mentality. also? The private, yeah. How about those prisons? Privately owned, and they don't give a crap. San Quentin's a state prison. Yes, but there are a lot of for-profit prisons now. Yeah, sure. they, and they want more prisoners, right? I'm going they to one this to weekend. Prison. It's a business. I'm going to a county prison, prison. industrial complex. No, I'm going the to a prison going industrial to a county, complex. Yeah, county jail this weekend mm -hmm. on oh, Sunday. The weekend? Nah, just Sunday. Do you, have, uh, do, you have a, a, do you have a big prison system there in Hawaii, Howard? <laughs> you don't know, huh? You're on yeah. mute. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna yeah. shoot at a detention facility uh, they on to Sunday. They have a range. Hmm. Okay. Howard? Sheriff's range. I was just gonna say I don't know. I've never been there before. No. Okay. <laughs> is there is there, are there a couple of prisons or just one? I I think we only have one prison on Oahu. I think on Maui we just have a jail. Yeah. There's two hundred thousand people in Maui County, right? On our island, um, well, yeah. If you're counting other um, the other islands, no Maui. On, Ma on Maui, sit in Maui Island, there's only about 140, 150 thousand wow. people. We yeah. also have Molokai and Lanai in yeah. our county. Most of the crime that you guys have is uh, drugs, like uh, crack and uh, uh, ice and that kind of stuff. I think it's more domestic. And domestic disputes too. Yeah. Domestic disputes. And then when we had tourists, if they left laptops or cameras in the back seat of their car and went to the beach, sometimes those things disappeared. That's yeah, the crime. That's just that a happened. report. You know, nobody gets arrested. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's not a lot of crime here that way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I've 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 been to, I've been to San Quentin on a couple of occasions um, because I had either someone who was there, like the the guy who's on death row. Or um, when I was younger, uh, my best friend, one of my best friends at, uh, at the synagogue, believe it or not, kid, his father was the librarian, the, head li the librarian at San Quentin. And another friend of mine, gee, I think I remember his name, David Schmidt, Dr. Schmidt, was the prison psychiatrist at San Quentin. So I had a lot of ins at San Quentin and to be able to understand what goes on there. And uh, it was, you know, and it, it's funny, it, it, Marin County is maybe one of the most expensive bedroom communities in California. Yeah. And, and yet San Quentin is part of Marin County. And so, you know, somebody could say when they got out of San Quentin, when somebody says, so where have you been for the last couple of years? Oh, I've been living over in Marin. <laughs> yeah. Are they going to turn it into condos? Huh? San Quentin condos? Well, they were talking about closing it down. Yeah. You know. Uh, it started as a prison ship, uh, oh. but um, you know, I mean, I just feel that we're too quick to punish people, you know. And I don't know that we that punishment is the answer. Uh, I, if that's our motivation, I think we're we're doing it all wrong. No, I feel by the time they get to San Quentin. They need some punishment. But people go to San Quentin because they don't have a good lawyer, Phil. They, oh. You know, it's not a certain kind no, of No, it's because person. they kill eight people and they leave their bodies on the side of the road. And, and it was. Oh, yeah, yeah. Find me, find me, can, find me, off. find me five of those people over there, well, you know, <laughs> that aren't on death row. OK. Uh, Alex, you got the guy who used to write you, point. right? Yeah. Yeah. He, was he on the show before? He just wrote you all the time. Dean, yeah, he. I think he called the show a he couple of times. Like, he yeah. used to call me uh, uh, at home, and I would accept oh, really? the calls. I would accept the calls. Oh. And when I was living in California, as I when I moved out here, it was kind of impossible to do it. Uh, but uh, we we used to talk like every other Saturday or so about things. Yeah. Yeah. And How and I never letters. I never I never wanted to know what he did. Yeah, because the nature that. of my relationship with him was as a, you know, as Alex Bennett and this guy in San Quentin who got a hold of me and wanted to talk to me. Yeah. 
Right. And um, then um, my girlfriend said, oh, come on, uh, let's go over to the library and take a look, see if we can find his name, right? Uh -huh. So we looked it up. His name is Dean Carter. And uh, immediately, an article in Red Book, a kiss from my killer, because that's the kind of stuff they do for Red Book. Hmm. And it's all about him. And um, he, uh, he was accused of killing five women on a, on a killing spree. It took p place over two weeks. Traveled the state of California. So I guess he was a serial killer. Um, and the next time he called, I didn't accept the call. I was so terrified because I didn't want to know. Yeah. Uh, a relative was, of can, yeah. can I can I finish the story, Phil? Please, okay. Um, and and so finally, after a couple of weeks, I decided to take his call. And he said, "Hi." He says, uh, "You haven't been home recently, or whatever." And I said, "No, I've been home." I said, "I didn't take your calls because I my girlfriend made me go to a library and look you up, and I found out what you did, and uh, or what you were accused of doing." And he said, "Yeah, people are that way." A lot of people won't talk to me after they find that out. And I said, well, I'm not going to be one of those people. You know, I am better than that. Uh, I, my relationship to you is what we talk about and what we, you know, our, our interaction with each other. And I said, um, I, but I was shocked to see what you did. But he said, well, you got to know I'm not here for traffic tickets. That was his line. <laughs> Uh, and, but I but I learned a lot by, from him about what it's like to live under those conditions. He's a he's a six six foot seven guy wow. living in a cell that's only six feet long. Okay, his feet hang out of the bars when he's asleep. Okay, um, and he's been living that life for over twenty years now. Nobody told him to kill eight people. Well, nobody told him to kill eight people. But on I the other hand, the cells were eight feet long and no, six feet wide well, I, I, I had female prisoners that would write me letters and i don't know why i never kept them I, like you know because like i yeah. i would play their requests and then I, I like now i wish i had them i'd like to look back to well, see what they were saying he wrote uh, he wrote uh, columns for my web page at the time called dead man uh, talking which was all about what it was like to live on death row and they were it was some incredible mm -hmm. writing you know but, I was uh, reading the Golden State Killer uh, is in the Yeah, news. that's what I was talking about. Yeah. 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 Uh, you don't have to put your hand you're... up anymore, Phil. Okay. Because a people prison, talk. Then you yell at me. Uh, a, a prison no, because cell is you six feet wide, eight feet. Stuff. What? Uh, it's six feet wide, eight feet long. Okay. But his feet almost stick out of the... Th that's a standard bars. cell. Yeah. But the bed, I think, is smaller than that. You know, that's it's, it's, little, it's, yeah. it's not... Uh, it, 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 you know... Okay, you're going to kill the guy? Do you really have to make him feel dead already by entombing him? I mean, he's in that cell 23 hours a day. And then they let him go out for a, a little recreation. Uh, there's something wrong with that. There's something wrong with that. Even no matter what the guy did, you don't punish people to how that about How about if he did it to your wife or your daughter? Well, you know what? Uh, I would uh, probably testify at the trial and say, do not, do not put him to death. Just keep him in jail for the rest of his life. Because if you put him to death, for the next 20 years, I'm going to have to put up with uh, uh, hearings and uh, stays of execution and stuff like that. And quite frankly, I'd like to get over with it right now and get on with my life and know this guy is put away for the rest of his life. Nobody gets killed in California anymore on death row. Well, I know that. Uh, is there a death row? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, how come? And they're still they're all they're still under a death sentence, but they they really haven't carried out the executions. So yeah, I don't think uh, since uh, Governor Hi. Brown the first time. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. oh, hello, cutest girl ever. Yeah, everyone's waving at you. But then again, I shouldn't say that because it's going to make your father have a rough time with you. So, <laughs> boy, are you ugly? Mm -hmm. Did he say you're ugly? Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean oh, it. I was just Alex. kidding. Okay. He's beautiful. Oh, she's adorable. Okay. Alex is blind, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an old man. Alex, I don't, Alex is, is in the middle. Alex is in the middle on our thing. Alex's name is Phil. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. <laughs> anyway, there goes the theme song, ladies and gentlemen. And what's her name again? 
Adrian. Adrian, Adrian, come see us again, will you? Okay. She she doesn't know. I'm I'm the one talking. See the one waving his hand. Right there, I'm the right. one talking. The one with the big That's mouth. Howard. Yeah. Anyway, Howard, okay. thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thanks uh, for having F- Phil. Thank you for being with us, Charlie. Always a pleasure having you here, Rob. Uh, you know we think the world of you. What what is that? What are you doing? Oh, he hasn't got his earphones on now, so he can't hear us say goodbye. Uh, 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 Bree. Uh, what were you, I, I don't know even what you're trying to tell me, Rob. Anyway, Bree what, Palestine. I said I hear you oh, when oh, I turn off the oh, mic. Oh, 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 okay. All right. And Bree, thank you. Thank you, Brian, and uh, your lovely daughter. Jeff, thank you. <laughs> and, uh, of course, Wilbur Force. That's his current name uh, uh, for being with us tonight. Hey, everybody, why don't you give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give you a big wave goodbye as well. Okay, there we go, and there they go. That's our uh, that's our citizen panel for tonight. I know that I'm out of sync a lot on these uh, discussions, but it doesn't really matter. The discussions have been so much better using Zoom that I uh, uh, I'm not about ready to stop doing that. And I just wish I could find a way to keep from going out of sync. Anyway, we'll blame the Zoom people. Anyway, we'll see you again uh, tomorrow night, uh, same time. Uh, by the way, uh, Jack Bishop is next with The Intersection. I'll see you tomorrow night, same time. Same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? And stay safe and wear a mask, okay? Bye. Bye.